This is NTX 15. This is NTX 16. Guess which one looks better. Hello YouTube, welcome to an operating system review where today we're going to be looking at NTX 16 Berta Carceris. I hope I did it properly. So without further ado, let's get started. Now before we start looking at NTX 16, there's quite a bit of changes that's been going on and one of them is the lack of system D. It is a system D free distro and for some of you users of Linux would actually like that because there's a lot of complaint with system D. Oh you want to hear the rest? Yeah 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 uh, what? So here's NTX 16 and with the black border hmm let's see if I can fix that. Ah that's better. Okay let's get started so we are greeted with the ice window manager once again and we're gonna go through and see what kind of stuff we got of course we got a terminal or file manager the web browser what is the web browser on this did they change the web browser come on it is mozilla firefox and as usual we are connected to the internet thank you virtual machine yay and Firefox 45.2. Damn, that's a lot. ESR. Hmm. That's a lot of versions. Oh well. Next up, we have our editor. What is our editor? Genie. Okay, nothing different here either, I guess. Uh, we have in the personal personal me menu help video. So I guess you get to learn NTX 16 f with videos, I guess. Now let's go see in the application where everything actually hides in. In the accessories we have, well, the archive manager, calculator, cal curse, curse? Wait a minute, is the calendar a cur- whoa. Okay, I've never seen that kind of calendar before. Welcome to CalCurse. Missing data files were created. Press enter to continue. Oh, so this is a text-based cal uh, calendar. Okay. Anyways, moving along. Cherry tree, clip it, leaf pad, search monkey, space FM file search, and XF burn, which is I'm pretty sure this is the uh, burning software. Oh. And it still loads. Okay, whatever. Okay, what is cherry tree? Okay, uh, I guess it's database stuff? I don't know, I don't care. Moving along, education, oh, of course it comes with LibreOffice. Math, games, DOSBox emulator, Jewel, X Mahjong, which is a Mahjong game, graphics, document viewer, G-Color 2, LibreOffice again, GT Cam, Digital Camera Browser, Mirage, MD Paint, I'm pretty sure that's a the Windows version equivalent of MS Paint, Screenshot, and Simple Scan for your scanner. Internet, Claws Mail, Connect Shares, Dillo. Okay, I thought I wrote Dillo. Ooh boy. Mm, another weird browser, okay. Dillo. At least it ain't dildo. Disconnect share. Droopy. Firefox. ESR. GFTP. Hex chat. Links to search bar transmission, which is your torrent client, and wicked network manager. So it's not Mad Wi Fi. Well, isn't Mad Wi Fi dead? Anyways. Office. LibreOffice. Programming. Genie. And VM.tiny. Sound and video. A Sunder CD Ripper. That sounds freaking. Oof. That sounds wrong. Gnome Media Player. GUVC View. SM Tube. Stream Light. Stream Tuner 2. WinFF. XMMS. System Tools. GParted. HTOP. Ice V2. 
WMCC ISO snapshot. The ISO snapshot, as far as I know, is your live image. And uh, this is our root password. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it creates a live image, and then you can just install your live image to your taste on different machines, which would help, especially if you wanted to play into m multiple machines. But you can't, for, well, for somehow you don't want to go through the hassle of PXE boot and blah. Well, that'll be good for you. Lucky backup super user. I guess this is a backup feature. Welcome to Lucky Backup, super user. Creating default profile. Eh, uh, goodbye. <sighs> Meta package installer, Midnight Commander. Ooh, that sounds badass. Root terminal, Rocks filler, Rocks term. RXVT color unicode terminal. What the? Space FM, Synaptic package manager, Unit boot in. I, let's see what Meca, Meta package installer is. Additional. Uh, well, okay. Um, could they be? Window manager. There you go. Oh, look at that. You can even install KDE. Oh, that would be great. Oh, this would actually be great. If you can install one of those, you'd be off the bat and you'd be probably uh, in a much better shape. But we'll leave it at, we'll leave it at stock. But at least you have the options of using different window managers, which would be great. Because Ice Window Manager as much as it's lightweight and Anti-X is basically focused on that, it still would be cool to have a full full-fledged uh, window manager environment but you will have to get more resources if your computer lacks such resources and preference you know, and preferences add menu item flash player ADSL alternatives configurator customize look and feel menu manager remove a menu item okay add and remove mm. update the menu which does that updates the menu. Desktop, other desktops, and you can switch. Let's see if I can switch. There you go. Oh yeah. One more. How about space? Oh crap. App killer if your one of your programs stops responding. Control center, which is the anti X control center. Typical comes with anti-x. Desktop, choose wallpaper, fluxbox settings, JWM settings, system monitor conky, GTK2 icon themes, you get the point. System, system package configure, blah 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 blah, system information. This is a virtual machine, so I'm, I don't know. Okay, so it does see my FX. I did assign two cores, and as you can see, even with two gigs, this is the amount of RAM that's used. And it's in light. It's also live. Nice. And Sonic Audio PCI. Isn't that from ESS? Anyways, it's an emulated driver. Gallium 0.4 LNV MM. I even installed the uh, VMware tools and nothing happens. PC speaker. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Boots. What are boots? Must be the boot manager. Uh, the MBR, but. Why boots? Moving along, we're gonna go back to network. Yeah, uh, add everything there, and it give me it even comes with ad block. So, yeah, cool. Session, change keyboard layout, change slim background, set screen. There it is. Uh, do you think I can make it up? Is it possible? Oh, for crying out loud! I got it. Huh. I wish I've seen that before. Anyways. Password prompt. Set auto login. Screen blanking. Desktop session. Disks. Auto mounting. Your, your guess is as good as mine. It's all USB delete partitions. And yeah, to retain partitions. Blah, blah, blah. Back up your system. Image of partition. Partition a drive, 
and synchronized directories. Image of partition is basically cloning your partition, which would be more like a Cronus stuff. Uh, for those of you who are, oh uh, well, if you are well used with uh, cloning software, this will be good for you. And hardware, well, set font size, set up a printer, PC information again. Okay, this time it's different. Configure mouse, set default sound card, test sound, adjust mixer, also mixer equalizer. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it's never going to end. But it works. If you didn't hear it, it works. Believe me. Set default song cards ironically has the Audacity logo. Only one song card was found. Ah, no kidding. That's okay. Rock solid. I really like... Uh, well, the lack of systemd must be really pleasing to some, uh, well, if not a lot of Linux users out there. But other than that, I'm not seeing big changes on the um, on the layout, on the UIs and everything. But you know what? The thing is, it's not just about getting. Uh, uh, Anyways, the fact is, it's not it's not just about getting uh, a different UI, a different look and feel every single time you get a Linux distribution. It's mostly about stability updates and bug fixes in some cases, but the point is mainly is to enjoy the experience. So there we go, this is Anti-X16. Not much change from Anti-X15, besides all the change log that we've seen a little earlier, but uh, it is still rock solid, really doesn't take much resources, and if, you're, if your machine is beefy enough, it can also accept a full-blown desktop environment rather than its usual ice window manager as a default. Now would I recommend Anti-X? Sure, why not? But to me, personally, my fir my personal favorite I've seen so far is still LXLE, but Anti-X stands as a strong competitor. So if you have any questions, comments, anything I've overlooked or not looked at, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as usual, until next time, be bold and take care.